Hello and welcome back to a new episode of Airport CEO here on Bongo Planes, where we have a few things to do at our airport. The very first thing we need to do is to buy some stairs because I forgot to do that in the last episode and um, one of you kindly pointed that out in a comment that was great so thanks for that uh, we will also do the whole baggage uh, baggage no garbage uh, system and um, yeah I think that will be pretty much it I don't know how long this episode will be hopefully not too long because I'm quite busy getting ready for my vacation and I want to record as many videos as possible so that you guys don't have to miss out on anything So the first thing we should do is, of course, uh, quickly get our vehicles. Um, we need to go to procurement. Here we go. Um, and then we need to have vehicles, service vehicles, uh, stairs. We need stairs, stair trucks. We need two of those because, well, one right now, but we do have the other terminal as well, a terminal, <laughs> the other stand as well, which one will uh, open in this episode as well that's at least the plan all right so um let's get cracking now we start off with just extending the building a little bit further so we have space for our gate we need, so we need also to remove this wall here um and maybe we could also get the little shop done here as well all right so hopefully these stairs will arrive as uh, as fast as possible because actually right now the passengers here can't get on board the aircraft because of this little mess that i did all right now oh come on game why are you don't want all that leave me alone there we go oh wow it's really persistent place at least one bus stop Well, yes, it's fine. <laughs> Why is it not going away? Okay, okay. So the the game really, really, really wanted to tell me here. Some then I have to have some bus stops. I already have bus stops. Well, anyway, or maybe it's because I don't have a car stop. Maybe it really wants me to do that. Well, we can do that. We can do that. Uh, here, which one is it? I think it is this one. No, this is service this one let's see where we could place that could be lazy just put it here there we go so that will be done as well our workers are busy doing their work that's great um still no stairs still no stairs let's just quickly check our schedule i think this aircraft will definitely be delayed oh yeah it's supposed to have been leaving already and hopefully we can get it uh, out before the next aircraft comes but okay it's kind of still our test run so it's okay um no that's a truck that's not a stair oh there's a stair staircase is right here i guess it's first going to the where are you going are you first going into the depot and then you're going to your assigned job is that it well, okay, but that means I oh know we have one here. Okay. That was the second one. So perfect. So now the guys should be able to board But there's no one at the desk. Ah, oh, they're leaving. Oh, okay. oh, Jesus. They haven't even left yet Of course, of course, they can't leave without stairs <laughs> All right um, So they're working on this. This is good. Uh, let's quickly take a look at the whole garbage um, Thingy let's see here. We have it the waste depot we want to have that as well because then we can offer it to our clients uh, let's see we need to have okay that's just only service road but on both sides uh, we can't really get it done over here we could put it up here um, although I would maybe prefer to have it over here because anyway we will have a lot of stuff going on here at some point it really wants to teach me about regional airports. Let's put silent mode. There we go. That should help. Um, let's put it like this. Uh, there we go. It's a bit far away from our current operations, but it will be better for our future stuff that we will build over here. So, um, yeah, that would, we just have to live with that. Uh, the driveway is a little bit far, but yeah, that's okay. All right, so the waste depot is being built. 
Uh, we need some vehicles for that, maybe, I think, perhaps. Yeah, aircraft cabin cleaning truck. So let's get four of those. Uh, there's no requirements purchasing this product. Make sure the following requirements are vehicle checkpoint, vehicle depot, waste depot. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so the basically, I can't buy the trucks as long as I don't have the waste depot. Okay, well, anyway, as soon as that's built, we can then um, get the trucks. I guess that makes sense. All right, so while this is happening, they have been working over here. What's happening? And you can't find the way, make this path where they're not finding the path. Who are you? Ah, okay. See, we do one thing and then another problem. We do one thing to solve a problem and then another problem arises. Um, let's see, we need a walkway, which we have here. Like this, now you can reach. Actually, you could reach it all the time. This is nonsense. You just walk over here. Well, okay. Anyway, we help them out. And our craft has left. Let's see. Ryanair was supposed to already arrive, but I guess they will come in now as soon as... Why are you so slow? What are you doing? Are you landing? And now you're leaving. Maybe I should have another exit a bit further for these tiny little aircraft to not block it all. Well, and it's a right. This is not a right. Yeah, this is the Norwegian. Why are you arriving? I have no Norwegian scheduled. Or maybe the first Norwegian was. No. Hmm. Well, doesn't matter. Things are running. We couldn't be happier. It will all work it out. Okay, let's see. We need to do some stuff over here um, to get our next uh, stand ready for our people. Um, the reason why I haven't put any floor in here is because I guess I will have some shops here um, and I will have a different floor for that. So that's why. I mean, it's not that I couldn't change it, but yeah, that's just that's just the way we do things here. Um, all right. Uh, we also need to connect up our stands here so they can actually work once we get them running. Um, so let's see. We need the taxiway, taxiway foundation. Take this one. There we go. And uh, over here as well. Like this. So that will be built. So that's great. Um, let's prepare all this now. Um, let's see. We want to have... This is a commercial one. Yes, I need to put a boarding desk first. So let's do that. Ah, and it's not in a secure zone yet, of course, because we haven't done that yet. Now it is secure. And now we can add our boarding desk. There we go. Um, and I might have an exciting announcement at the end of the episode, so be sure and to stick around. Um, I think you will th uh, find it worth waiting for. Um, yeah, just a little teaser <laughs> for those of you who have stuck around until now. All of you who have left, well, too bad. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I, well, I hope you are still here because uh, I hope you're enjoying it. I'm certainly enjoying it. I like this game. It's really... It's really nice. It's good fun. And it, it, it is really nice as well to see, you know, it is an alpha, but it is really nice to see that the developers are really pushing it on and doing, yeah, doing up, updates to the game, doing the nice little features. And uh, that that's awesome because then it's, it's not just, you know, a money grabbing thing, putting out an alpha, getting as much money in as possible and then not ever finishing it. Well, I don't know if they will be finishing it, but they do develop on it, and that's great. Uh, no available check-in desks. Isn't that just because we have the little mess with... Uh, isn't that just because we have the little mess with our schedule right now that the aircraft kind of... I think this will solve itself, to be honest. I think this will solve itself... To be honest, why are they freezing? They've just, they did that last episode as well. Like this is a total mess. 
like that's just not right and they're blocking the runway now and why they've somehow got stuck here haven't they I mean we could uh, what was it control let's see no there this and uh, then there's some way to kind of get them going again uh, which I can't remember where it is and anyway this is like the control panel and actually you shouldn't really you shouldn't really do stuff in here because that can definitely break your game uh, so let's let's leave it uh, how do I <laughs> how do I get out of it again uh, F10 again yeah there we go okay <laughs> all right I think this will solve itself normally it does uh, if not we might have to restart the game and see if it helps um, all right oh, this is a mess this is a mess now it will solve itself we say that it will solve itself so we will just wait for that uh, all right since we are on the first floor we can also continue working over here um, adding a floor let's just add it all the way over okay and uh, we can put in a check-in desk Actually, let's just upgrade. Did I just put off? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Uh, upgrade stand, build jetway. No? Ah, of course, it's. Uh, I still haven't. Jesus. So many things to do, and I am not paying attention. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. There we have it. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Now we should be able to upgrade, build jetway, and there we go. Now we need to check if the bug that I have uh, had so many times is still there. Yep, yeah, you see here, it just keeps doing it. It's really, I don't know. Well, we can fix it. There we go. And then we go upstairs. And we add our... A uh, little, let's see, check-in desk. No, not check-in desk, boarding desk. And uh, like this. What did I do over here? Yeah, just like this. And I put it in the wrong way. Of course I did. There we go. This helps. Why can I not place it? Ah, oh, it has made a little staff zone, hasn't it? Hello? Why can't I remove this? There we go. Now we should be able, if we are... There we go. Must be placed inside a secure zone. This is a secure zone. What's the wrong? Uh, what's the... What is this? What? Okay. Um, that's a new one. And how could people ever reach this if this is a staff zone? So we actually also need to fix this. Um, why is this not working? Very strange. But um, let's just fix this up, because if this is a staff zone right behind here, they can never, never, ever, ever, ever reach it. Can't demolish a connected boarding desk, disconnect. And how do I do that? Um, ah. Uh, I know I need to disconnect. And I can't do that because they're flight scheduled. Oh, this is annoying. I, I hate I hate this, that you can't fix small. This is a tiny little issue. I just need to move it one out and then it's fine. And I can't do it because the game just doesn't allow, allow me to do any changes once it's running. It's so annoying. I really hope they fix it. This, this I don't understand why I can't place it right now. This is clearly a secure zone, no? Oh, it removed everything. Oh, for fuck's sake. Apologies for my language. Um, okay, this is annoying. There we go. And then we can place the boarding desk. And now it should be working. 
uh, to place it the right way. We do it like this. So then there is space. Let's do it actually. Mm, no, let's do it like this. Now there would be at least one tile available, which is not staff zone. And this is of how can they can't even reach it, can they? They can never ever reach this. Although they haven't, have they complained about it? I don't think so. Um, okay, we have to wait for this. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, this is happening. Why are you pointing in that way? You should be going over here. Oh my god. Guys, today seems to be a messy day. Oh, now you're spinning around. That's very nice. Uh, yeah, this is not going well. <laughs> okay, these are the small things we need to figure out before we really make our long-term scheduling. Um, so I guess it's better happening now than later. Um, and I will have, leave this uh, schedule just running out uh, so that I can fix the... I will have to do that because otherwise I can't fix this um, issue with the gate. Yeah, but that's, an, that's not an issue. I can just leave the game running off camera and then we can do that. Now let's quickly head over and see if our garbage thing is done. That is done. That is great. So now this works the way that you basically just um, have the trucks. You have the service activated then. Um, which would be over here you'd say aircraft cleaning service disabled and that would be then enabled um, and then you just need to uh, take a look at this every now and then to see that it is not uh, filled up completely and once it gets close to that you just say request waste pickup and then it's empty again so this is really fairly simple um, here we have of course the catering depot and um, here you can determine how many meals they're supposed to produce. Um, so for some reason they don't... Ah, of course I don't have a signed contract. Um, but as, So we will do that now. But basically also here you then have food stored and stored meals. So basically they get food in from this side. They make the meals and of course they pick them up. But it is important to check out here the production rate. Because this will... with already one time um, uh, production, this will fill up quite quickly and you're wasting money. So you can reduce this by quite a lot, at least in the beginning, and then slowly push it up once you need more meals. When you see um, this dropping down, then you can uh, up the levels here and met, uh, let them produce more. But let's sign a contract here. Um, let's filter it. Uh, catering food suppliers. Um, so these are the offers we have right now. In-flight logistics. Let's see what you are offering. Uh, so you have a 0 0.33 cost per delivered food item. Um, the catering food supply will deliver 2,479 food items per delivery. Okay. Uh, food will automatically be delivered as a catering depot has less than 10% food remaining. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Um, what are you doing? You're a bit more expensive, apparently. So I guess we just go with in-flight logistics. No, let's just quickly check those. No, you're way, way, way more expensive. And what about Happy Pig? <laughs> that must be a made-up one. Uh, also super expensive. Okay, so we go with in-flight logistics, uh, which is a real company, I think. Yeah. All right, in-flight logistics. There we go. So now we have those. And for the beginning, I will definitely just push this down quite a lot. Um, let's do it to the bare minimum at the moment. Uh, okay. So this will now just keep running on its own. Um, now we should quickly get the trucks as well, because then we have that done. Procurement. Uh, vehicles. Service vehicles we already have. And this aircraft cabin cleaning. So let's get four of those as well. There we go. So yeah, progress is made. Slowly but surely. Um, Alright, so we have still about ten minutes before we have to end the episode. So let's see if we can't... Um, 
Let's see if we can fix some things. Um, actually, maybe we should just, yeah, let's do this little shop. So what did we do this into a franchise room? I think that means it is a shop, not a, not a restaurant. I think it's a shop. I hope I remember correctly now. So let's do a counter. Uh, and as always, we have to place this the right way around. I think it is... Uh, this is the front side. Okay, so actually maybe we should put it... Um, we could put it here. Yeah, let's put it here. And then we do some shells. Uh, let's do... Have that changed this? Or have I just never seen this pedestal, sh pedestal shelf? That looks... Ah, no, the graphics is just spazzing out a bit. Oh, hmm. Okay. <laughs> we found a little bug, I think. This doesn't look right. Uh, let's get a wall-mounted shelf. And let's just put some shelves in here. There we go. So my airport is still going crazy because of our schedule being a little bit messed up. But... Um, yeah, we will just have to live with this in this episode. Next time, this should hopefully be all resolved. I will have uh, had the time to fix a few issues here and there. And, um, and everybody can be happy again. All right, so now we have our wall-mounted shells. Uh, let's just make it a little bit nice in there. Um, and put some plants in there, like here and here. And here, um, let's see what else can we put in there. We can put some more shells in there. Let's put some basic shells. Uh, let's give them enough space so they can run around nicely. It won't be the biggest uh, store, but and maybe one out here to lure people into the shop, like this. Yeah, I think that's okay. It's a bit basic, but it's fine. It's fine. It's just a nice little shop when people come down here from check-in and then they can go straight into a shop that's great okay uh, so then this is done and we should also go over here and prepare at least so i think we will make a a toilet here i think that could be nice and we could also make a little staff room here and then the rest of this this could be a shop maybe a bit too much but yeah why not uh, yeah, of course, we should also quickly uh, do this, what we talked about last time, which we learned from one of you guys, um, to make sure to have staff rooms close to our people. Uh, we could actually just turn all of this into a staff room. And I think we should do that because then we have one very close to our workers here at the baggage bay. Um, so now let's just see, this is still a secure zone, correct? Well, if not, it is now. And then let's turn this into a staff room. There we go. Uh, let's put in some nice floor. Well, nice floor. Blue mat floor. That's our go-to floor for our workers. Um, and then let's put in some stuff as well for those uh, staff. They like their office desks. So you guys, this will be a huge staff room. Maybe a bit too big. So let's just give you some, or a lot. <laughs> uh, let's spin this around like this. Yeah, I think we can uh, make something uh, nice out of here. Let's just make a little gap here. Okay. Um, then we should give you something to sit on. Let's give you modern sofas. There we go. That way you can also sit and relax. And the rest of the room we will just leave open for now. We can add more stuff if we need it. All right, maybe we should speed up the whole thing a bit so we can see this also happening in this episode. Right, so this is still working on. They haven't, they haven't done anything here, so we could then add some doors just so they don't get stuck. Um, doors, 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 doors. Um, ah, now they are coming. 
So now let's add a door there, and let's add a door there. So this will be the toilet, so you can reach it from both sides. I think that's advisable. Staff room. You can just have one door, that's fine. Okay, so then we say this is now a staff room. And this will be a bathroom. There we go. And then let's put in some floor for that as well. For the staff, we have, of course, our lovely blue mat. What should we put in here for the... Should we just say a light concrete floor? I think that's easy to clean, no? For a toilet? Yeah. Yeah, that would be fine. Doesn't need to be pretty. And then let's just... I think we'll just make it unisex because, honestly speaking, I can't be bothered to make it gender-specific. Just one for all. Everybody can be happy. Obviously not in real life, but in-game they don't seem to mind, and therefore we don't mind. Let's just put in as many toilets as possible so everybody, everybody can get... And lots of cubicle where they can do their stuff. Nah, I don't like that. Let's remove this one. Let's put it over here. There we go. Let's have some sinks as well. Um, like this, like this, and here. Yeah, and then just some hand dryers as well. There, and there, and there. And there, and here. Perfect. So, now we have another bathroom. That's great. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, okay. So, now we have this one. We can start opening, or we can say this is... Uh, do I need to connect it first? I guess so. There we go. And now we can say it's commercial. This one will, of course, be connected to this baggage bay. And uh, what else? Ooh. I think that's it. But we want... Well, we can open it. No one is going in anyway. Um, which we just need to make a quick taxi reconnection, of course. There we go. And we can do the same thing over here. So now we should be able to open this one. No? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So next time we can start scheduling flights in here. Um, after this one, of course, we need to head upstairs. So we have this one. It is connected. So we should be able to do this. Let's also connect you to a baggage bay, uh, which I can't see now, but you are here. There we go. And um, with that, we should also be able to open you up. There we go. So, we have two new stands ready. Ready for scheduled flights from the next episode. I think that will be it. But before we end today's episode, we should also... Um, that's not the right button I was pressing at all. Um, no, but before we actually end today's episode, we should take a look here, because we want to have our operations. Now we can say aircraft service cleaning enabled. So now this should be going. So if aircraft want cleaning, they should be able to get cleaned. That's perfect. Um, and this shop is also done. So we could also sign a quick contract here and see... I guess, yeah, this is too small for three-star. Two-star works, so we could get a two-star in here. Swedish gift shop. <laughs> I mean, we have to get that. I mean, just because it makes no sense to have a Swedish gift shop in a Danish airport. But uh, why not? Why not? I think there's a lot of Swedish stuff in here from uh, one of the packs that I subscribed on in, uh, in the Steam workshop yeah um i no we have to get that that's that's awesome swedish gift shop they can get swedish souvenirs at a danish airport perfect <laughs> i don't know why i like this so much this is funny um all right so now we have another shop here that's perfect guys this airport is developing we're making progress now before we end today's episode what is the announcement that i wanted to make for you guys who are still here um, well, basically, next uh, Sunday, um, there might not be, or basically, I can already say there will not be another video of AirPod CEO. Why not? Well, I'm on vacation, and I have managed to record another episode 
um, for next week. So, um, will you have to miss out on a video? No, because there will be another video. It will also be about an airport. It's just not a virtual airport. Uh, yep, uh, you might have guessed it. A airport update will be available uh, the coming Sunday on Bongo Plains. So you guys, I hope you can um, enjoy that instead of Airport CEO. Airport CEO will continue once I'm back from vacation. And uh, yeah, uh, so I hope you will enjoy next Sunday's program with a review and an update from my new airport, Philadelphia International Airport, which I've been working on for many, many months. I'm really excited to show you guys uh, the new airport. Uh, but that's uh, that's about it. So if you have enjoyed this video, then be sure to smash the like button. That would be very much appreciated. Of course, if you're not around here, why not hit subscribe? Um, as I said, next week, no airport CEO, but airport update. And airport CEO will then come back after that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. Guys, I'm checking out. And bye.